goes nothing. So stop me at 15 minutes, okay? Um, let's do this first. Oops. Let's call this instead a section. I should make one just for college algebra. Let's call it lesson one. All right, good deal. Let's go, oops. Let's go to that, let's go to that. All right, yeah, I gotta change some things. I gotta make that thing. <laughs> you can't see this on the video because the only thing the video is recording is in that little square right there. So I'll just, every time I go out here, you have no idea what I'm talking about <laughs> if you watch it. All right, it should work. Let's see. Yes, it works fine. Okay, let's take a look. Um, let's talk about how to label stuff. If, um, oops, I didn't want that. I'm going to have to get used to this again and remember my shortcuts. I can't remember what my line is. What is it? Oh, it's just that thing. Okay. All right, there we go. All right, so if I have a line right here and if I have a point, Let's say right there. Can you see it all right? All right. And like this. And we'll put little arrows on the ends of it. All right. And we'll call this point A, point B, and point C. Basically, this is just so that we're on the same page and we're writing lines the way we're supposed to and all that kind of stuff. We could call this several different things. All right. If I wanted to call this line, this whole line right here, if I wanted to label it or name it, I could name it. How many points do you use when you name a line? Do you remember? Two. Right, so I could use any of these two. Does it matter what order you, you put it in? Doesn't make any difference at all. So, what are some possibilities I could call this line? I could call it line what? AB. All right, so watch, this is what we would do. I would call it line AB, and this is the symbol. You just put a little, it's a little sloppy. I have to get used to writing on this thing again. But uh, you could call it line AB. That's one possibility. What's another possibility? Jacob, what is it? AC. I could call it AC. Now some people think that you have to pick the points that are on the ends. You don't have to. Okay, not on a um, not on a line. Any two points that lie on that line you can use. I could have 15 points here and I'm still only going to use two points. It doesn't matter which two points, I'm going to use two. It doesn't matter which direction. I could have called this line BA. It's the same exact line because the line keeps on going forever in both directions. We good with that? Alright. Again, we're just rehashing this. That's all in the book as you see. Now, um, we could also do this. I'm going to put a dot here on the end and a dot here on the end. Now, I don't have arrows on this, so this is not called a line. What do I call this? A line segment, exactly right. So I'll just use these same letters, A and B. So if I called this, and let's put a C inside of here. Let's talk about the whole thing. Okay, the whole entire thing from A to B. If I was going to label that or name that, I would name that line segment AB. Now watch what we do. We don't put the arrows over top of it. <laughs> it's kind of curvy looking. Let's try to make it a little straighter. There, that's not too bad. All right, we call that line segment AB. Now you could call it line segment BA. It doesn't matter, again, which direction you go on a line segment. All right, is, but look at the A and the B. The A and the B are, what do you call those things? They're on the end, so we call them endpoints. All right, so that's an endpoint, and so is that right there. It's coming back to you now. Yep. So I could call it line segment A B or line segment. Let's see, or line segment B A. Oops, almost put an arrow in there. Don't want to do that. All right, it's the same exact thing. Doesn't matter how you call it. Now, if I was going to be consistent, and I'd probably call it A B, wouldn't you? Because A is on the left, B is on the right, but you don't have to. You could call line segment BA. Now, what about this one from here to here, AC? I don't call that line segment AB. I would call it what? This part from here to here? Line segment AC, yeah, obviously. Or CA. It doesn't make any difference. Got it? So you just put a little line without the arrows on top of it. All right, cool. Let's do another one. What do you think we have now? We have a line, we have a line segment. The next one's kind of like a combination of the two. Any ideas? I don't even know if this is the order they do this in the book, but I'm going to do it. What if it has a starting point? Oopsie daisy. Let's go to this. What if it has a starting point, but it keeps on going in this direction? Yeah, we call that array. Good. Now, array, it definitely makes a difference which one goes first. 
on a line and a line segment, it didn't make any difference which one, you know, which letter was first and which one was second. But on this one, it does. And we'll call this A. We'll just call it point A and point B. So this is a ray. It has an endpoint, but in the other direction, it keeps on going forever. So I'm going to call this ray AB. So the endpoint has to be the first one. Everybody got that? I can't call this ray BA. If I'm starting here and I'm going through B and it keeps on going in that direction, the A has to be first. And we just draw the ray like this. Look, I had somebody, I th can't remember what year it was, but I had somebody do this. Right? And, you know, this was, we'll call it CD this time. I had somebody, okay, you know, write that down. So they said, okay, it's ray CD, and then they did this because they figured, oh, the direction of the ray is the direction, but it doesn't, it doesn't work like that. It just goes, it always goes from left to right when you label it. Okay, it doesn't matter which direction your ray is actually, you know, traveling, I guess, if you want to call it that. But um, this, we always write it like that. You find, you good with that? We don't call it DC. That is not the same ray. Right? So lines, you can change the order of the letters. Line segments, you can change the order of the letters. But with, um, with a ray, you don't. You start at the end point and you go through like that. All right? Pretty simple? All right, cool. Let's do this. Um, let's see. They talk about, talk about equal line segments. Look, if the line segments are equal in length, then they're called equal line segments. Or what's another word in geometry used a lot? Instead of equal, what, what was the other word we used? Uh, equivalent, yeah. congruent is what I'm looking for. Yeah, in geometry, you, you, we use congruent all the time, didn't we? All right, so if two line segments have the same length, then they're congruent line segments. I don't even think we have to draw anything for that. Okay, they talk about rays. Oh, they talk about opposite rays. Watch this. If I, um, uh, let's see if I can do this. I'm going to take this ray and just extend it out like that. All right, now we've got a big old line, don't we? We still have a, a ray. I could call this ray AB, but what would the ray be? It would just be from here all the way through B and keep on going, right? So that would be ray AB. I could call this ray BA, but the whole thing is not ray BA. Where's BA? Starts from here, and it keeps on going in that direction. That would be ray BA. Um, uh, let's do this. Let's put a C in between the A and the B. Uh, basically a line is actually two opposite rays. Watch. I could call this ray CA and I could call this ray CB. If they both lie on the same line, then they're called opposite rays. All right? So you might see in there they talk about opposite rays. Let's talk about this word collinear. Look at this. See these three points right here? They all lie on the same line. So if three points lie on the same line, we call them collinear. My writing is atrocious. Look at that. That's horrible. <laughs> anyway, I'll keep it. C-O-L-L-I-N-E-A-R. Collinear. It means, what does it mean? It means all the points lie on the same line. Everybody got that? All right, good. All right, let's do another one. Let's do this. Almost out of time, right? Let's say, we'll call this A and B down here. Here's two lines, and let's say that goes like that. Okay, there are two lines, and they uh, they hit each other. What's the big fancy math or uh, geometry word for when they hit each other? The intersect, right? Okay. All right, they intersect each other, and that's the point of intersection right there. We call that the point of intersection. We'll call that E. So E would be the point of intersection. Really, today is just all vocab, isn't it? And just trying to make sure you remember how to say all these things. All right, let's keep going. Uh, actually, let's quit now because um, it's almost time for the bell to ring. I believe it is. 1035, yep, yeah, it is. All right, you get the idea. Now, here's what I want you to do. Look at page uh, 12. Now, you're going to see... <laughs> When they first start this book, they're going to throw some things in there that they kind of expect you to know already. You'll see some of the geometry stuff, but you'll also see some stuff that they don't even teach you in this lesson. They just kind of figured that you would know this already 
before you got to this book. So see how much you know. See how much you can do tonight. I'm not asking you to do all 30 problems tonight. We're going to take maybe another day or two to just finish up this review lesson and to go through some of these, okay? So go through, um, so we're going to do, I'll, what I'll do is I'll probably call it problem set. That's what they call these things, problem set one. So that's, do is do whatever you can. All right, so go through these. There's some algebra in there that you'll, you'll probably be able to do. There's some stuff in there you might not do, you might have not ever seen before. All right, but we'll take the next couple days to go over that stuff and see how so it do works. As do as much as you can, right? And if you can't do it, don't worry about it. We'll hit it later. Everybody go with that? All right, cool. All right, that's it for today.